Hi there. Um, I've probably been streaming a few months now, maybe a bit longer. Uh, and as most people do when they start streaming, I've been trying to improve the audio quality um, as best I can with no audio experience. Um, and it, it's quite difficult because I'm sure you've seen a lot of tutorials like I have. And they all say, well, everybody's voice sounds different, so you need different settings for different voices. And that's where a lot of the tutorials broke down for me. Because it was easy enough getting the VSTs into OBS and being able to configure them. But I didn't know what settings I really needed for my voice. So I wanted to put together this tutorial to specifically address getting the VSTs in, which should be easy enough, and then also testing the VST settings with our voice in real time. Because it is difficult to talk and change settings and listen to your voice. It's near impossible to do that in a meaningful way. So I'll show you a quick trick which will let you listen to your voice on repeat and you can add as many filters to it as you want and change the filters in real time, listen back to what's happening, and then once you've found the filters that work to you, you can copy them and then paste them on your, your normal mic output. So first of all, we're gonna to need to go get the VST plugins. They're, they're all free, you can get them online. Um, go to reaper.fm slash replugs, and I'll put a link in the description so it's easy enough to get. There's two download links here. There's one for 64-bit OSs and one for 32-bit. I'd go with the 64-bit. So we'll click on this, we'll download it. It's an installer. All you need to do is double click it, install wherever it wants, and then the VSTs will be on your machine. The next bit's easy enough. You'll want to get your OBS up. You'll want to make sure that you haven't got any filters on your mic audio. I've got filters, but on yours, you hopefully won't have any. If you do, just remove them. Then at that point, what you're going to want to do is press start recording, and then you'll want to talk for about 10, 15 seconds. Doesn't matter what you talk about, pull up the internet, find a sentence, just reel it off. And then once you've done, hit stop recording, and then you'll have an audio file, or it might be a movie file, which we can use in the next step. Once you've got your audio file, all you'll need to do is go to sources here, click the plus button, go to media source, call it whatever you want, okay? And then within here, we'll want to tick the loop button because it's important that we can hear our audio in real time over and over, which <laughs> it's not nice to hear, but at least you'll be able to listen and adjust filters in real time and hear what's happening. Once we've got the audio on there, all we need to do is press okay. So at this point, now that we've got the media source there, we're gonna need to be able to listen to it. Because right now you're not gonna be able to hear a thing. You can see obviously the green lines going up and down, but you won't be able to hear things. So you need to right click on that, go to advanced audio properties. Then within there on media source, go to monitor off and set that monitor and output. So now you can hear your audio source. You're now going to need to set the VSTs which we downloaded before on there so you can listen to the changes in real time and see if your voice is getting better or worse. So to do that, we right click on here, go to filters, and within here we'll add VST2 plugin. We'll call this EQ. There's many other types you can apply, but we'll only focus at EQ on this one. Please select the plugin. We want rear EQ standalone. Click that and then open plugin interface. So now at this point, we have the audio in there, as you can see if I stop talking. The audio is still going through because it's coming from the media source. So within here, you can play with this in real time. So I'll have a quick play and stop talking. Legend of Grimrock 2 is not as linear as its predecessor, which means you can go many directions. Hear, it sounds vastly different when I start moving bits around. One so you can take out the bass down here, I can there. change the highs exactly. over here, this is not um, and you, I mean you can do whatever you want with it, and there's loads of tutorials which will tell you more on how to alter this and get a better sound from it. But for now, at least you know, okay I can go through here, I can adjust it in real time and hear back what the sounds are. So once you're done with that, close that down, close this down. So at this point now, all you need to do is right click on your media source, copy filters, right click on mic auxiliary and paste filters. And then when you go into here, I've already got these set up myself, but you will have exactly the same filters that you had on the, the media source in here. So, I mean, you can see the settings that I've got in there. As you can see when I talk, you can see the lines go up because now it's using the mic input, not the, the media source input. So once you're happy with all that, Close all it down, go to your media source, right click, remove, yes. So now all those filters have been applied to your mic and it should sound exactly how you want it to. And I mean, if you if you want to play some more, you can always leave that media source there and click the lie on it to mute it. And then at least that way it's always there if you do want to have a quick fiddle um, and try changing the settings. I hope that's been useful. Um, it, it was something that I stumbled upon um, and I thought, hey, that's <laughs> that saved me a lot of time 
messing around manually trying to talk and listen at the same time. So anyway, hope that was useful. See you later. Bye-bye.